Good evening, and welcome to another one of my Star Trek model collection videos. Uh, this evening I will be reading facts about the Klingon Bird of Prey. Now, I'm afraid it's not been unboxed, so I'm sorry if I disappoint anyone with that. But that's because I... Well, I don't really have an excuse, so I wanted to look at it before I thought about making a series, so... <laughs> This is the Klingon Bird of Prey. <laughs> Great start. Now, she is operated by the Klingon Defense Force. This class is the Burrell. She's 139 meters long. Six decks. And has a standard crew of 36. Her top speed is warp 9. She has two phaser disrupting cannons, as you can see here and here. And one photon torpedo launcher, which is there. While these all share the same design, the name Bird of Play refers to several classes of ship in the Klingon Defense Force. These range from the small barrel class, these ones, to the massive cave hall class, which are almost as large as Starfleet's Galaxy class starships. Although I don't think we've ever actually seen one of those in Star Trek. Uh, she has a crew of around 36, 200 of the largest cruisers. Regardless of their size, the birds of prey were armed with two powerful disruption cannons mounted at the tips of their wings as well as photon torpedoes, as pointed out here and here a bit earlier. She's fitted with warp and impulse engines like Federation vessels using dilithium crystals to focus the enormous power generated by a matter antimatter reactor that could propel at warp speed. Along with its offensive weapon systems, she was also fitted with a cloaking device. <laughs> Sorry to use the old trick again. <laughs> Which used technology that the Klingons acquired from the Romulans, where they they had a brief alliance in 2260. When activated, the Klingon device rendered the ship invisible not only to the naked eye, but to most sensors. Due to major drawback in the technology, however, cloaked ships were unable to raise shields or operate any of their weapon systems, leaving them at a serious disadvantage if detected. Strict rules ensure that only a challenge can only be 
made if the officer is demonstrating cowardice, dereliction of duty or incompetence, and a Klingon can only challenge his superior officer. The Klingon ship has several wing positions. This is it. This one is in cruising mode. The wings can go down. They are fired from this position when they are down, bringing it easier to aim. I'll have another model I'll show you in a minute. And when the Klingon bird of prey is flying, the wings are in an up position. As to have